Abusia yema obibia akwaba e de ba kofi countryman TV na ene ye de mo ekọ ensem bebere mu na ya chechere de ekọ so e wo oman gana mu eh ka manyo semu a eh channel he ya na ye de e bebere mu kama 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 ba be som mu ama mo som mu hu de ekọ so e wo man gana mu ye nyina ni mse e ye court e ye court a ye wo high court e ye appeals court supreme court eh uh, munyina akọ vacation a uh, otimi se omo um, ahomeji mu a omo um, ejo uh, mahomi ti abase ya na cases akese akese ni nyina no nso no eh uh, omo um, nso ejo uh, mahomi a prepare aba asaba be shiem e uh, bra kwi uh, court e uh, be resume na court wo ahomeji mu mpo no eh uh, amamfo ni ensem bebere na na ekọ so a uh, ano nso ehun uh, sam nso Ababa ba top no so a amamfo ebo bo hu ye nyane ni mse ja chikwesi case ya e da court so far otimi se amamfo ebo bo hu se 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 case yi se ekosai se ekosai amamfo enya enhu ye so far eko ano ana eye ye nyane honorable ja chikwesi honorable member of parliament for asen not ade ensembi ebuboba amagana fo enso ye bubu hu na ye hwe de enema esiko ono bu ja chikwesin atre krata tin 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 a chese enya sem ketwa even ebra a ye court akọ asetina na akwete se omakọ homije mu yi ono de eh onya enko na homije wafa people twere eye krata tin 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 e fere report tin 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 e dia koma Ghana Legal Council ah chese o twere Ghana Legal Council nya ne se sabe ono jachi question die e free se case ba ye odnani ato form a abobo hu ahwe ono no nsem mo ja akopie mo ho eye ne witnesses Eye ni nema ede di se okopi mo port wo nyina na ne de edam kredin chese bibia de na kwam na oto na ni na ohwe eye atoni general a ono na ye gana ye mra pani a oda emra ano se onhwe ema bibia enkoso enfama oman gana chese wo chemu a eye atoni general yi chese ni nema bia wo ye bia no ye unprofessional chese ade bia wo ye bia wo court no e ye unprofessional anka na djuma no zo de anka e very professional chese ka wo ye ani kwa se e fini ke ka wo bia e ba e hu na eno ana ne report wa twere nema bibiri wo chese wo hwe ne kata ni mo chese person of person chese attorney general Chese ni nyumo yi nina anu wa misconducti ni hon Ewa kota Edi e mwinchi mwono bima mwiyi Na mwate ensemna siyankasa Genti ya Eye yi nina yi nina yi nina yi nina yi nina Eye wa kire krata atinti ni Edi akwa kopi mw Ewa Eye Ghana Legal Council Sa omu yi shi Na eye ato ni jenra yi Omu enchi nyo Ni nyuma yi Enfa mrafo Na fi yi no Kibiti mi kura ni kezi ni kura no Enfa ento nchi ni baby no yanko na yeti ensem kakra bia ewom yiade aka bia e beto amos chairman disciplinary committee of the general legal council accra your lordship report of professional misconduct by the honorable attorney general godfrey ehanomai uh, godfrey that why ni chat to ebe godfrey yebo adame i say i respectfully seek to initiate disciplinary proceedings against the honorable attorney general again i'm going repeat godfrey yebo adami for his professional misconduct during and in respect of my criminal trial in the high court criminal division 3 accra at the last adjourned date 19th july 2023 during the cross examination of the first prosecution witness richard techiminsa after a witness had testified confirming that he had given a statement to the police to which he attached certain document, which testimony is also reflected in the police statement itself. 
the Attorney General responding to an application by my counsel for disclosure of the attachment the witness referred to stated that there were no attachment to the said police statement. This clearly amounted to providing testimony to the court, which I am advised and believe to be true is clearly contrary to the rules of professional conduct by lawyers in a case. The, quote, testimony, unquote, provided by the Attorney General contradicted the testimony of his own witness and was presented for the first time without any prior notice to my lawyers or myself as to the fact known to the prosecution. Significantly, after the intervention of the Attorney General, when my counsel asked the witness whether he still stood by his testimony that he had attached documents to his police statement, the witness would not provide an answer to the question. In effect, the testimony of the witness had been influenced by the professionally improper testimony of the Attorney General. My counsel has applied for a certified true copy of the proceedings before the trial court on that day, and I would make this available to the disciplinary committee as soon as it becomes available. There are also the following further instances of professional misconduct on the part of the Attorney General. On 16th June 2023, when my lawyer was seeking to bring to the attention of the court that I was a candidate in the then pending parliamentary by election in the Assen North constituency, the Attorney General used the following insulting language against me. Quote, this is what I describe as a very totally irresponsible step. Beside it, to apply to contest again when he knew that these proceedings were pending for which he can go to jail. Unquote. This gratuitous insult on the part of the Attorney General was without any basis and had no place in the trial and I'm advised by my lawyers is contrary to the rules of professional conduct of lawyers. I attach herewith the record of proceedings before the court on 16th June 2023, during which the Attorney General made the insulting remarks I am complaining of. The Attorney General has also misconducted himself by his granting of at least one media interview in relation to my case. The Attorney General has claimed in court that his comment followed a decision of the Supreme Court in respect of an application for an interlocutory injunction restraining me from performing my duties as Member of Parliament and were not in respect of my criminal trial. It is my understanding that the rules of professional conduct do not allow lawyers to grant media interviews in respect of cases they are handling. Thus, whether the media interview of the AG was in respect of the civil case in the Supreme Court or in respect of the criminal trial, the grant of such an interview was contrary to the rules of professional conduct for lawyers. In reality, the said media interview, in its terms, and at a time when the AG had initiated criminal proceedings against me, was clearly understood by the public as being in respect of the outcome of the criminal trial also, and was clearly prejudicial to me. I attach here with a report in the media of the prejudicial remarks of the AG. Through his professional misconduct, the AG has clearly jeopardized my fundamental human right to be, <coughs> to be presumed innocent until I am proved guilty and my trial and my right to a fair trial. I therefore respectfully request disciplinary proceedings against the Attorney General for professional misconduct as outlined above. Yours sincerely, James Jachikwesen, MP, Asin North constituency into uh this whole jetty question in the sense i here from central region <laughs> and the demand the bpa uh, court of appeal a uh, supreme court as we speak supreme court the end of the